This video will cover the most common mixers found in Dactronics systems. There are two categories of mixers used at Dactronics, analog mixers and digital mixers. Analog mixers usually cost less than digital mixers and they're generally simpler to operate. On an analog mixer, all controls modify the audio signal directly as it passes through the circuit for each channel. Since each control has a specific function, more controls and features means larger physical footprint. Digital mixers convert analog signal to digital signal for mixing and processing. All controls modify parameters in software that then adjust the audio signal. This means that one control can perform the same function for any channel on the mixer depending on which channel is selected at the moment. Because of this, lots of controls and features can be present in the mixer, but the footprint remains small since the same physical controls can perform multiple functions. Digital mixers have the capability to store and recall presets or scenes. This allows a user to save a particular mixer state and recall that at a future date. For example, after a football game, everything has been tweaked and adjusted to how the operator likes it, but there is a track event coming up that requires different audio sources and levels. The football preset can be saved, and then the mixer can be set up for the track event. The track event can then be saved in another preset, and now switching between sports is as easy as recalling the correct preset. Analog mixers are most commonly found in the SSR100 and SSR200 racks. The RAIN MLM82S was used in the SSR100 portable rack. It is a simple 1RU mixer with 8 inputs and 2 outputs. The AB assign or output select switches should be centered in most systems. This sends that input to both outputs. The stereo inputs should generally have their switches set to mono. This will light up the mono LED and send the line inputs to both outputs. The RAIN has no special features or equalization and only adjusts source volumes and output levels. The Dactronics Multimedia Mixer replaces the RAIN MLM82S in the SSR100 rack. The Multimedia Mixer is a simple 1RU mixer with 9 inputs and 2 outputs. This mixer also has no equalization built in. It has some additional features that greatly improve the functionality of this mixer over the RAIN. The built-in ducker when turned on causes all other inputs to drop in volume while someone is talking into the mic 1 or mic 2 input. The volume limiter can be enabled and set to one of two values to limit the output volume of the mixer. This prevents sound system overload or excessive volume situations. The multimedia mixer also includes a fire alarm mute circuit that can be connected to a fire alarm contact closure that will then mute the mixer outputs if the alarm goes off. The dip switches on the back of the mixer allow for some adjustment on these settings. There is also a paging system input that can connect to a 25 volt or 70 volt paging speaker line and rebroadcast any messages over the sound system. The Soundcraft EPM-8 mixer is mainly used in SSR200 racks. The EPM-8 has 8 mono inputs, 2 stereo inputs, and 4 outputs consisting of a left, right, and 2 aux outputs. Unlike the previous two mixers, the EPM-8 also has gain knobs to set the incoming signal to similar levels. Then mixer faders allow for adjusting the mix of the different sources to send to the outputs. The EPM-8 has built-in equalization as well. This includes a high frequency control, low frequency control, and sweepable mid-frequency controls that allow a user to select which mid-frequency range is adjusted and by how much. There are also separate output controls for each aux output to make two additional independent mixes for things like in-ear monitors or an announcer's headset feed. Digital mixers are found in the SSR300 rack as well as custom control systems. All digital mixers used at Dactronics include the following as part of the built-in processing. Equalization, which adjusts the frequencies present in the audio signal. Compression, which helps with sources like excited announcers that suddenly speak louder by applying some volume reduction when the input signal exceeds a set threshold. This prevents unwanted excessive volume situations. Gating helps prevent background noise from entering the system when a microphone isn't being used. It blocks the audio signal from going through unless it exceeds a set threshold while someone is speaking. The Yamaha 01V96 digital mixer was used for many years at Dactronics, mainly in SSR300 systems. Over the years, there have been various versions like the 01V96i, 01V96V2, and 01V96VCM. 
they are all almost identical and mainly differ in some software features and some USB audio capabilities on the O1V96i. The O1V96 has 16 inputs, 6 outputs standard, but in Daktronics systems it's usually expanded to 10 outputs with a 4 output expansion card. The O1V96 can store and recall presets also known as scenes, however the preamp gain settings are not included in these presets. A full mixer backup and restore can be done using a computer, USB cable, Yamaha Studio Manager software, and an O1V96 editor that matches the mixer's hardware version. One thing to note is that the O1V96 editor's interface looks completely different than the mixer's physical interface. This means that this software is not very helpful as a tool to help guide someone through mixer operation steps. The Yamaha TF series has three mixers in its lineup the TF1, the TF3, and the TF5. All three function identically, with the only difference being the number of channels available. The most common one found in Daktronic systems is the TF1, which is mainly used in the SSR300 racks. The TF1 has 16 inputs, 16 outputs, and is expandable with a Dante card and TO1608D remote I.O. boxes, which have 16 inputs and 8 outputs. The TF series can store and recall presets known as scenes that include the preamp gain setting. A full mixer backup and restore can be done using a USB stick. Remote control from a computer over networking is done using TF Editor. A backup and restore can also be done in TF Editor. TF Editor's layout looks very similar to the physical mixer layout, which can help with troubleshooting and walking a customer through steps, though not all settings show up in TF Editor. The Yamaha QL series is used in custom systems. There are two models available, the QL1 which has 16 local inputs and 8 outputs, and the QL5 which has 32 local inputs and 16 outputs. The QL series has built-in Dante networking for expandable I.O. using Yamaha Rio devices. These mixers can also store and recall scenes that include preamp gain settings. Full mixer backup and restore can be done using a USB stick and remote control from a computer over a network can be done using QL Editor. QL Editor's interface looks completely different than the physical interface that a user sees on site. This can make supporting this mixer somewhat difficult. It is recommended to pull up the mixer manual for assistance with troubleshooting. The QL series has some built-in virtual processing gear that channels can be routed through for additional processing most often used at Daktronics to reduce chance of feedback. There are other mixers that have been used in Daktronic systems, but we won't cover them in detail as they are not as common. The CL series is very similar to the QL series and uses CL editor instead of QL editor. Soundcraft SI Expression and Performer mixers have also been used. SI Offline Expression and SI Offline Performer software can be used to look at configuration files. This software also closely matches the physical mixer layout to help with troubleshooting. Most other mixers are likely one-offs or have been used on very small number of installs. For in-depth training on mixers, it is recommended to consult the mixer user manual, and mixer manufacturers also have great tutorial videos on their YouTube channels.